But into this match here, um, Sky Raisin Sir Spud. Sky Raisin can destroy him. That's it. This is actually our mark two fighting each other here. I always forget. I always forget that those him and SK they all go back and forth on the field. You see what happens uh, at the end of this quarter. Coming up here. That's how you know he's a principal. Oh, round start. Yeah, round start supports. Okay, it works out for him too. Oh, the yeah, scissor hits. Connects barely. Alright, okay. Lasting hitbox is working out. This is just one point. Actually, no, it was, a, it was a lasting multiple hit. So hey, he kind of. Right. Yeah, he kind of delayed the JY a little bit. Ooh, no <laughs> counter. Uh, it might have extended. I wonder if. I wonder if the champ has an anti projectile. Uh, ooh, that dash forward. The best thing he has is probably wake up slap. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't think he could actually that in time. I mean, if it's the pick. Uh, against the Sonic, though. Ooh, that's Sonic, no. Run. No, he probably couldn't. I forget that's a good thing, too. Well, no, he has Karate Chop. I don't think that would be the right. Like, I. Because Karate Chop is very forward. Obviously, Astonish is coming up from one. Uh, he'd have to back up on it. Even then, like, he wouldn't have enough time to do it. Nice size move. Submission. I watch a Pokemon anime and submission is very different in the anime compared to what it, what it is in Pokemon, so... So very earlier, I think we're calling it Vital Throw, and now I don't know. <laughs> is it, it's called is it, Submission in the game. It's called it? Submission. It is Submission. So, and actually on our topic, Karate Chop did work there because uh, it wasn't in front. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't like the him. It was the front of him, so he was able to Karate Chop his time. I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm still thinking it's on the game. That's what Champ Raid. Like, at some point, you're really just not. You, you shouldn't care about those. If you get hit by him, you get hit by him. It's like, yeah, you're gonna attack you for a little bit, so it's like, don't let it keep you from doing that. It's first about activating burst as well. I, I agree with that. He doesn't really have shit. He's always on the offensive. Oh yeah, he's trying to keep her, and he especially wanted to keep it there because he didn't want the champ to get close. Oh! oh how about did not work out? But no, um, yeah. It's because he wants to keep the pressure on. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're able, if you find this one little area of opportunity, the champ can get a cross jump. Good eye from Sir Spud, punishing the jump there. Uh, Gengar's homing attack is unique in the sense that it avoids projectiles and very unique and annoying to Mewtwo because it actually doesn't that Mewtwo can't hit him while he's, while he's doing that, his homing charge. Hmm. It doesn't hit that low. That's why he always wins the battle. That's why Mewtwo, or Gengar always wins that and wins the homing battle. It's too low for his own homing attack. For the homing attack. Nice. Oh, put him on the wall. He's up the PSP. Is that reset? <laughs> we got flat, uh, the yeah. Minus four? Oh, or, yeah, sorry. Oh, I just said reset. But yeah, it's minus this one. Oh. So, Sir Spud keeping on the pressure there with Mega Gengar. It's gonna be able to take first game. Whatever, though, from Skyrim. I don't know if he'll switch. I don't think he'll switch to Mewtwo. Or Mewtwo. Lucario. I have Mewtwo on the brain now. I don't think he'll switch to Lucario. Because I don't think he's gonna. I'm not confident that he. I'm not confident enough in his confidence. But I mean, it could work out. Lucario does do pretty well against Gengar. Yeah, I, I think it does. Work. All right. Who cares? Carry into it. Submission for it. Submission in the enemy. It's like. It shows when Machoke takes them by a chest and he starts rolling around. Oh. And it slams them into the ground. Yeah, it's very different. It is very different. I mean it's a circle pattern, but it's it's horizontal. Vertical, not horizontal. 
Can you imagine if that was the case for him <laughs> just grabbing this? He could grab you in midfield and just push you to the corner. Oh, yeah. That would be terrifying. It would be an anti-corner pressure. Oh, my God. It would be anti-corner pressure. Guaranteed corner pressure. Yeah. And, like, multiple tools to get you in the corner quickly. That, oh, my God. Forward wise. Forward wise. And then the staple of very easily punishable. Ooh, nice. Okay, good. Oh, there. to do the JY Oki because I think that would still beat because I think you could try to go for a 2i or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know if 8 no. would have been any different. Um, I don't think it would have It has range, but it doesn't have range. Yeah. Oh. Forward Y. See, like, the, the line where you think it would hit doesn't hit. It doesn't have a hitbox that way. Uh, be careful with that. Yep, oh, yep. There it goes. Shield. I forgot what the game is for a lot of shield. I had no idea that the headbutt actually broke shield. <laughs> it does. That's the first time I think I've seen I that. have seen that happen, but not in that kind of stream. It's just Gengar is don't really go for shield breaks unless it's hard. Oh, yeah. I love it. You can throw synergy if you will. There you go. You can still get synergy from breaking so much shield. It's kind of weird. I mean, I think it's less. Ooh, Ooh, no, he's not in that. Yeah. He might get hit by the Oh! He's still gonna get hit because he went for counter attack. Oh, and there's a crit. Oh, that's actually. He's in first though. That's a crit. No, okay. That's a crit. It's the most powerful person in the game. Yeah, that's how it is. I'm from two feet away. Hello, paper sack. 